Well, hello and hello to all of my Leos. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading, Leos. Let's get right into your reading. Let's get into your reading. We are now coming in for the home stretch. We're in the last quarter moon of this cycle. This cycle actually began December 23rd, 2022, and it's going to close out on the 20th of January, 2023. Yes, so if you've been stressing yourself out, you know, at the end of the year, and oh my God, I still need, I still have some unresolved whatever. Don't stress yourself out anymore. You still have time. We're in this last quarter moon in Libra. Yes, last quarter moon in Libra kicked off on the 14th of the month. Here we have the Ten of Swords. We also have the Nine of Wands. We have the Three of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, and also the Six of Swords. All righty, let us go. Okay, so Ten of Swords and Six of Swords here and here. All about forgiveness, all about forgiveness, forgiveness, forgiveness. Somebody's on the other side of um, this, this rebirth that you were going through, Leos. We have the five of pentacles, the four of pentacles, and the three of pentacles. So here we go. So somebody, um, somebody is dealing with their shadow self, like somebody is dealing with, and the shadow self again is, has a whole lot to do with, um, receiving you 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 want to receive additional wealth coming your way but somebody was somebody was still dealing with some some hurt that they not had not healed from right and that was the shadow part of the self is like you know feeling like i've invested a lot of time and energy into something that may or may not have worked out so now i need to move on from that so you moving on from it open up or unlocked your vault actually i see perfect alignment with your money and also i see you learning how to be more um um conservative with your time so that's a good thing you're already on the other side of something that has come to an end and you're kind of looking back over your life and just what lessons did you learn from something like what lessons did you learn so that's a good thing that's actually a good thing again forgiveness is key for something that you've moved on from and so you should see more opportunities coming across your path like opening up your vault you know um and it's also your relationships connecting with um, people so your money is connected to your relationships with people so don't be surprised if more people want to connect with you because you had to first release something from your past forgive something like let go of that heavy baggage of something from your past some kind of hurt um some kind of deep disappointment i don't see you looking back there's no regret for moving on from it. Again, like I said, some of you all have pulled out your burning bowls. You've released it in love and you're not looking back. So look for more opportunities to come your way. We got the five of swords. We also have the strength card, the hermit card, the eight of pentacles, the three of swords, and also the king of swords, right? Again, a lot of sword energy, a lot of sword energy, king of swords and five of swords. Again, five of swords lets me know that somebody may have just gotten just exhausted. Every time you thought about something from your past where you either argue with something or just got you really upset, somebody may have said something or did something that cut you deep like a sword. And it could have even been a job. Something something happened where it cut you like a sword and you decided, I need to move on. I forgive them. I'm wiser or more knowledgeable. I need to learn how to be more loyal to myself than to... Uh, people, places, and things. If it doesn't work for me, if if there's if their energy is sending out some kind of a message that's loud and clear that I need to move on from it, I, I'm not. I'm the only person I'm questioning is God. That's it, and I'm moving on. Something could have been deeply disappointing, but you decided I'm moving on from it. I'm moving on from it. You got a lot of ancestors around you helping you with this, but somebody has been in hermit mode, like really analyzing some situations, analyzing all the relationships in your life and, and deciding what is holding you, what is distracting you from opening up your vault to an enormous amount of wealth. It could have been some unforgiveness. It could have been something, like I said, somebody said or did that you just felt like I was just holding on to that, but now I'm wise. I need to move forward. Here's the thing about sword energy. It cuts both ways. So that's part of the forgiveness process or did I say or do something to cut somebody deep? Did I offend somebody that somebody else loves? 
did I come across as a certain way? That's really just operating in humility is looking at yourself, not so much of everything that was done to you, but how did I bleed all over people? Did I, did I hurt people too? So now that somebody has learned a lesson, operate in faith, they're moving forward. He had at least eight streams of income. Like I said, your, um, so this is, this is what somebody is trying to receive now. In order for you to like really receive something, I mean, and just cheerfully be a receiver, you're going to have to forgive something, something that, that may have hurt you, something that may have cut you deep. So it's like, I forgive you. I'm not holding space for that. That's heaviness. I need both of my hands to receive all the wealth coming my way. So I'm not holding on to a bag of unforgiveness, like a bag of bricks holding you down. I, re I need to release that into the universe. So yes, let me toss all of this into the burning bowl. I love, I, I love myself. I'm nursing my own wounds. I'm flushing all of this out with water. I'm not emotionally dehydrated anymore. I'm ready to receive. I'm ready to receive some healthy relationships, some more money, some offers coming my way. So yes, I forgive whomever for whatever. I forgive, forgive whomever for whatever, and I'm leaving it in the past. Here we have the four of pentacles. We have the ten of wands. We have the high priestess. We have the death card. We have the strength card and also the two of wands. Yeah, so the death card lets me know. This card and this card right here lets me know that somebody, somebody, something is over for good. Something is just over. Like something could have been emotionally draining for you, but it's over for good. You've decided to move on from it. Whatever it was, you just decided to move on. And you've been having a feeling for some time. Matter of fact, this high priest is attached is attached to the moon. We had a full moon in Cancer on the sixth of this month. Like I said, that's why I, you know I don't do a lot of celebrating around the end of the year. You know, like some people's like, oh my gosh, the end of the year, new new year, new me, or whatever the slogan is, whatever people say. The bottom line is that we were still in the midst of we were in the middle of a cycle that doesn't even close out until January the twentieth. So. That full moon in Cancer, Cancer is the mother sign and the money sign, and it's the I feel sign. So somebody was able to identify what didn't feel good in their life, whether it was a job, whether it was holding on to unforgiveness, anger, frustration, hurt, whatever it didn't feel good in your universe, you decided to forgive it. It was too heavy of a bag or burden to carry, so I need to release it and love and I need to move forward so I can have both hands to receive the wealth that's coming my way. So somebody got their focus, their focus, this number eight right here. This is the eighth card in tarot. Somebody got their focus laser focused on, you know, their earth's mission. I love it. So I do see booked and busy for somebody booked and busy. I see again, did I see four pentacles, four pentacles twice sources like don't spend the money that's coming your way twice as fast as it's coming in. So be twice as conservative with your time. Don't just go out there and just start shopping until you drop because the money is starting to come in multiple streams of it because source is about to make somebody booked and busy. Lots of duties and responsibilities. You literally have the whole world in front of you. So you're leaving a lot of things behind. A lot of things behind. The main thing is that you're releasing something on the high note. Again, the main thing you got to get a vision you, when you when you when something has hurt you that deep Leo's you can either let your ego take over and carry that heavy bag around you it's like a it's like a ball and chain around your ankle you can't even soar you can't even fly high because you got this heaviness that you're holding on to and so source is like no you can't carry that ball and chain on a plane <laughs> you got places to travel to you don't have time for that release it release it in love. I forgive you, but I'm moving on. I am moving on. Onward and upward. So congratulations to you all who have released something who is, and even if you're in the midst of something we have until the 20th before we enter into a new cycle, a whole new cycle on the 21st, which is the, uh, which is a new moon in Aquarius. A moon in Aquarius detaches us from, ev from the everyday. It distances us from the known and reality the known reality, and it makes us spread our wings and open our minds to bigger cosmic picture, right? The bottom line is for you all, it's like, okay, I, my whole, what is my purpose here on earth? Is my purpose here on earth to suffer in unforgiveness and insecurities and all of that other stuff? Well, it was, it was, it was already destined for me to be wealthy, to have at least eight streams of income. I need to leave something from the past behind. I'm not looking back. Here we have the eight of swords. I was a I was a prisoner to my own frustration and 
whatever somebody was hanging, you know, hanging on to. I, I was like a prisoner to that. That was self-sabotage for somebody. I need to move on from that. I need to move on. And that's what I'm seeing, somebody moving on from something. So let's see what else we have here. Let's see what else we have here. So there's been a whole lot of extra thinking about some things. It, it's been like it's been a lot of thinking about some something like unforgiveness at one point. But somebody has just gained wisdom. Somebody has just gained wisdom from it. And so now it's like the, the floodgates of money is coming to you. And again, it's in your relationship with people. So again, whoever you released in love, you're really for releasing them. I meaning really forgiving them. Like I don't have any more issues with them, but source, keep them as far away from me as possible. But if I happen to come across their path, I don't wish anybody any harm or anything like that. I'm just going, going on about my business. I'm not trying to mess up my money anymore because that was, that's what was keeping somebody's vault door locked, like dealing with somebody's shadow self. I got some issues with some people that did something that could have messed up my money or my image in the past. And so when you release that, you freed yourself. You freed yourself from this. Because somebody was walking around like this for a long time. They messed up my money. They messed with my money. They messed with my foundation. That could have looked like somebody cheated on, you know, cheated with a spouse. And, and you felt like that messed up your family situation. It could have been somebody that ran a smear campaign and messed up your image or your money some kind of way or something like that. But I see somebody sailing away from that. Here we have watch a movie. Yeah, it's time to relax. Time to relax kick back um and it's no particular movie by the way it's, there's no particular movie by the way this is more or less source saying to you whatever movie you choose i'm gonna i have a message for you in that movie so pay attention to it pay attention whatever movie you watch also when you're laying on the bright side of the moon in aquarius that means that you feel more idealistic more creative more tolerant you feel like a humanitarian with progressive with a progressive outlook. Also, you'll notice people who landed on the dark side of this moon in Aquarius that kicks off on the new moon, um, kicks off on the 21st of January, uh, means that you are more unpredictable, contrary, aloof, fixed in an opinion, and tactless. Like somebody is still hurt, still carrying that ball and chain around their ankle, still bitter, you know, reading people for filth, just hurting people. But again, I see forgiveness all over your car. Somebody's like really freeing themselves from some kind of bondage. Again, surrender to the divine. Surrender to source. Because at a higher frequency, the things that you've been praying for, like the perfect job, like at least eight streams of income, that creativity, those are things you want to be in receiving mode for. You don't want to be in, still in receiving mode of this heaviness of unforgiveness and anger and frustration and argument or what somebody did to you in the past and you don't want to be in receiving mode of that. If you're going to if you're going to discipline yourself to be in receiving mode, discipline yourself. The quicker you learn how to forgive people and decide, hey, they whatever they did that was that bad, they've cut themselves out of my universe for good, or if I allow them to come back, it's a it's a whole vetting process, probationary period, all of that before I decide which level of access. The sooner you can get to that point, the better off you'll be. Here's your questions. Here are your questions. Here are your questions before we get to your number and before we go ahead and close out your reading. The question is, first question is, what can you do to um, what can you do to use your passion for serving on a large scale? The second question is, are you creating space for yourself to connect with your inner alchemist and innovator? The third question is, are you ready to think outside the box and delete old beliefs and rules to write your own? Fourth question is, is using technology a drain or gain for you? And then last but not least, are you ready to start a group in your community to initiate and create positive change on a local or global scale? What could the focus be? Those are your questions. Let's see what your number is. Let's see what your number is. But yeah, kick back and relax. You've forgiven some people. You've tossed their names into a burning bowl. You've decided if they have any more access to you at all, but you are freeing yourself from that bondage so that you can move forward. Your number is 66. I am positive. That's right. Your guardian angel is teaching you the essence of unconditional love. You are encouraged to have faith that the universe will provide for you while you are manifesting your inner desires. That's it. Let's see what this last card is. Let's see what this last card is. Let's see what this last card is. Let's see here. Let's see here. Let's us see here. Creativity. 
That's also what source has been trying to get out of somebody, some creativity. This is also attached to your emotions. So if it doesn't feel good for your universe, for you to keep holding on to it, make room for this creativity because in comes your wealth after that. Here we have, I, ha I am a ball of creative energy. Creative ideas circulate my very being. I tap into all aspects of my imagination. I command my inventive skills to step forward. I connect it to my truest self. I am solution oriented. My gifts create room for me. I am grateful for my innate gifts. There you go. Start creating multiple streams of income. I see a book, podcast, YouTube channel, anything where you can monetize. Um, that's what I'm seeing for a lot of you all. So again, tap into your strength. You're on the other side of this rebirth now. So you analyzed, you analyzed your, your past and decided I need to sail away from it. I need to move on from it. It's, it's a greater things that lie ahead. That is what I have for you, Leos. Thank you so much for joining me. Congratulations to somebody who has a leadership position. Again, you get your money is in perfect alignment. Congratulations to somebody who's coming up with multiple streams of income and just being in receiving mode of that, right? Healthier friendships, healthier relationships. And I will see you all on Motivational Monday. Bye.